Hi guys, Luna here. Welcome back to another Starfield Guide video. Today we have another unique weapon to find, the Memento Mori Legendary Unique Pistol. And to get this, you need to complete the side quest Burden of Proof, which is an optional quest you can do during the Crimson Fleet missions. And Lieutenant Toft wants you to give her evidence, in exchange she will give you some credits. However, if you give her enough evidence, she will give you a unique weapon called Memento Mori. Now, in total, there are 20 evidence to find, and they are scattered all across the different areas that you cover with the Crimson Fleet missions, but I will go over them for you guys. And of course, since the Crimson Fleet ending is an either or, this is missable for anyone who decides to side with the Crimson Fleet, so make sure you pick this up before you choose a side at the end of the missions. Our first evidence is the Neva meetup evidence. This is found on a table behind Adler Camp in Sidonia on Mars. During the Echoes of the Past mission, you can get Carter's Gig Evidence. This is a unique item, so you can't miss this. And the other one you can find during this mission is the Warden's Log Evidence. That's found in the Warden's Office by following the yellow painted rooms and up the stairs. Now, unfortunately, I don't have this one because my save files are corrupted from my earlier playthroughs and I can't go back and show you it, but... This is how you get it. I can show you all the other ones, but this one is in that mission. So make sure you pick it up before you leave the facility, as you can't get back inside of it. For the Breaking the Bank mission, you can get Dombrowski's embezzlement scheme evidence. You get this by talking with him, and then you can pay him for evidence. Then you can get the request denied evidence in the captain's quarters on the second floor of the Siren of the Stars. For the best there is mission, you can get Juan's talk evidence found in Kay's house in New Atlantis in the well. And Eubanks and Wood's evidence located in the back room of Gabriel Vogel's lab at the very end of the mission. Can you talk to the commander? Next, there are three evidences on the key. Request A-17, found in Jazz's ship service office. Mira's demise is located in one of the first floor room's bunks. And Voss's parts evidence is found near Delgado's computer in the upstairs area of the key. Next we have two that are found as part of side quests for the Crimson Fleet. Talk to Samina at the Crimson Fleet's clinic and she will start a side quest called Doctor's Orders. And you simply have to go to the doctor on the clinic space station and the evidence is just behind him. I'm just a nurse. Next you can go to the Lost Nova bar and talk with Bog. You can start his side quest and you need to pick up the evidence as part of the quest. Next we have Chunk's Heist Evidence, located on the left side of the bar inside the Red Mile on Parima 3 in the Parima system. We have Chiroptera Evidence that's found in Gagarin Landing at Lizzie's Bar. Most of these corporate clowns won't even show their faces. 
Hooktown raid evidence is located at the pit stop just outside of the Hooktech building in the Valo system. Keep an eye on your valuables. Yeah. Howdy. All right. Neva went for it. So the plan and we have the Crete officer evidence found on a table just as you enter the den in the Wolf system. Next, we have the mission Absolute Power. You get the big score evidence located on a bedside table in a bedroom on the first floor of Madame Sauvage's bar in Neon. Meeting with Bayou evidence, this is found in a safe in Generdyne's offices on the Generdyne Industries floor in the Trade Tower. Just follow the quest until you go here as an optional mission, and then you need to persuade the receptionist to give you the key. Okay, let's see you again soon. Stay out of trouble. We'll have a problem. Lastly, Ayumi's officer evidence. This is located on a table behind Ayumi Komiko in Euphorica's members only lounge. Please let us know. Let's face it, some people are just gifted. If you require any Aurora to Can't you see I'm busy still? Now, if you have all 19 of these, you can return and speak with Lieutenant Toft. And what getting the evidence will do is unlock more dialogue options for her and she will give you more stuff about her backstory. All you have to do is exhaust all of the dialogue options and she will then reward you with the pistol. There's still one more evidence to collect and that's found right at the end of the final mission where you get the revenant weapon if you want to get that. But you only need to get around 18 out of the 20 in order to finally get this pistol to unlock. But yeah, like I said, this one is missable if you don't get it right here. So guys, like and subscribe for more Starfield guides, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.